Hey guys, in this video, we're going to look at Lucian. He has historically been an ADC played in the bot lane, but has most recently been played primarily in the solo lanes. Back in season four, he was my favorite champion to watch, especially in pro play, and it has been crazy seeing his in-game tweaks over the years. He's also had some build path adaptation to whatever is strong in the meta, and he's had a lot of changes. You used to build him like a normal AD carry, but now you kind of build him as an AD caster. But even as I'm preparing this, his ultimate just got changed to where it now scales off crit, so Riot is trying to combat the way he has recently been been built to bring him more in line with other AD carries. But y'all know that I don't talk about items in these Six of Diamond videos because builds change constantly depending on the game state and meta, and especially with Lucian, it could change every two weeks. So build information in this video will get outdated very, very quickly. So go look at another guide more updated in order to get that information. This is why Lucian is your ticket to Diamond. What's up guys? My name is Snoda and I make these videos to help you get better at League of Legends. So if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to get the rank you want before the end of the season, then check out my course, the Ticket to Diamond. And blueprint in order to learn what you need to do in order to climb as fast as possible. Hey guys, I quickly want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Opera GX. I've recently discovered this browser and I have to say it is incredible. If you play games on your computer, this is a must have browser. Other popular browsers can take up a ton of performance on your PC, but not Opera GX. It allows you to limit the amount that the browser can use of your RAM and your CPU so you aren't losing a ton of performance while you're in game. Opera GX also integrates incredibly well with other programs and you can quickly pull up Discord, get games gaming news, and if you're like me and watch Twitch streams all day, then you can quickly see when your favorite streamers go live and click over to watch. You can also change the color and design of the browser to your liking. They have a ton of great preset colors, but if you don't like any of those, then no problem because you can customize your own. Now, if you think this is all great, but you're worried about changing to a new browser because you have bookmarks and settings on other browsers, then don't let that stop you because Opera GX has a quick import tool so that you can move everything you want from your old browser into your new one. Also, if you're at school or work and you want to use the internet, you can also get Opera GX on your phone. They have a great mobile app that syncs and integrates super well with the desktop version. There's literally no reason to not download this browser. It is perfect for gamers in every way. So go check out Opera GX and download it with the link at the top of the description. Lucian's first strength is his hypermobility and kiting. Lucian has always been known for his super flashy plays with his dash and high burst damage, but season 11 has ushered in a whole new era for what this can look like. With the introduction of Gale Force, Lucian has the ability to close large distances and do a ton of quick damage. When you add in his double shot passive, press the attack rune, gale force active, and not to mention his other damage abilities, he does so much burst damage in the mid game, but not at the expense of his mobility. He has the ability to fly halfway across the screen and delete someone if he wants to. His E is also on a very short cooldown, especially when you use your passive double shot on enemy champions. This can let you dash multiple times in a fight, dealing a ton of damage while constantly repositioning or chasing down your opponents. It is so tilting playing against a Lucian that is ahead because when you flash away, he can use his dash and gale force to quickly close that gap and kill you. Lucian's second strength is that he's a lane bully. His Q does a ton of damage through minions and it's pretty easy to hit on your opposing laner. This can help you win trades as well as get lane pressure so that you can move to early jungle fights. Especially at higher elos where games are won and lost at the scuttle crab or early invades, Lucian is great because he can get that early wave control so that he can shove his lane and move first, putting the enemy team in a tough situation to respond to. If the opposing mid decides to follow, he can miss a wave or two putting him very far behind in CS, but if he chooses the minions, then his jungler can die in a 1v2, tilting him off the face of the planet. And yes, junglers, if your laners are pushed in, it is not time to go contest a scuttle crab. That is a death sentence. I know you want it really, really badly, but just give this one and fight for the next couple with your team to get that XP back. There's no point in giving up a lead just for an early scuttle crab. You can farm and get back in in other ways. Lucian's third strength is late game zoning and being a great team fighter. If you're worried about not having great mechanics, or auto spacing, then don't let that deter you from Lucian. Although mechanics are a very important part of this game, especially with a champion like Lucian, you can always learn and improve on them, but Lucian has a special ability that requires no spacing or kiting, and that's his ultimate. He just launches a bunch of bullets in a certain direction that does so much damage. The only thing you have to do is activate it and move it around to keep it on your opponent. And now that you have to build crit for his ultimate, getting Lord Dom semi early will help you shred the frontline tanks in the late game, and then your mobility and burst is great for finishing off other enemy champions. All right, now let's talk about about Lucian's weaknesses. His first weakness is his mid game. More specifically, around when everyone else finishes their first mythic item. Lucian is great in the early game because of his range, abilities, and press the attack for burst, but in the mid game, when bruisers and assassins have their first item, it makes things very hard for Lucian. You really need to watch your spacing during this part of the game because you have a massive target on your head. Just keep farming either in the mid lane or the side lane, depending on where your bot lane is, and just keep trying to get your second and third item because that's when you'll start to outscale the bruisers and assassins.
assassins. Hopefully by this point, your team has had the early game pressure to get the first two dragons so that you could potentially give the third or fourth if you really need to. But if you do decide to fight for those dragons, make sure you walk in with your team and stay pretty far back in order to stay safe and output some DPS. I mentioned this in the auction video, but don't dive the back line just to finish off someone in a fight. It is much better to stay healthy and do damage to champions that are still alive than to int just for some extra gold. Lucian's second weakness is his base autos. Earlier, I mentioned that Lucian is an AD caster, and that's because most of his damage comes from his abilities, but this also includes his passive double autos. This is why you really can't play him like a traditional AD carry, because his base autos don't do a lot and his range is relatively short. He is most effectively piloted as a caster who weaves in and out of fights with his combos. Obviously, his autos do damage in crit, so if you're safe and in range, by all means use them, but keep looking to weave your combos in during a team fight. Lucian's third weakness is that he's kind of a weak side laner. Most of the champions I make these videos on are really good in solo lanes and are great at split pushing. This is a personal bias because I love split pushing, but it's also just a good tip for solo lanes to maximize your XP and gold income throughout the game and not fall behind by just randomly grouping and A-ramming mid. And during the mid game, Lucian should be farming in a side lane, but he isn't the best at it because bruisers and assassins will likely kill him in a 1v1, and Lucian is not the type of champion that should flank into a teamfight or a skirmish. Your main goal on Lucian should be to side lane in order to get some farm, and then to recall and group when the lanes are pushed out. Please don't get caught out by randomly pathing through the jungle when you don't have vision or pressure, and make sure you look to 5v5 because Lucian does great with teammates who can apply CC and buff him up. Okay, so the first tip to carry is to farm perfectly. As a ranged champion, you have a massive advantage in the laning phase, and you have no excuse for not getting around 80 CS for every 10 minutes. And because Lucian has no CC, you have to farm and get items because otherwise you offer literally nothing to your team. So make sure that you are getting amazing farm in the early game, and then go to a side lane and keep getting minions, and if your jungler is on the other side of the map, then go grab Krugs or Gromp, and also steal jungle camps whenever you can from your opponent. Please, I cannot overstate this enough, make sure that you are very, very good at farming with Lucian, otherwise you're going to be useless in your games. The second tip to carry with Lucian is to play for kills early and play to survive late. Like I just mentioned, in the early game, especially in a solo lane, you have a massive advantage as a ranged champion. You can easily poke out your opponent and look for easy kills if they stay in lane too long. Look to punish these mistakes to get a lead in the early game by just getting a CS lead or by getting kills, and then in the mid to late game, look to just survive and path safely during your rotations and playing back in teamfights. If you are the one getting engaged on in the mid game, then you are probably playing wrong. Look to play behind your teammates and dish out as much damage as possible from the items you get from your great farming. My last tip to carry is to practice Lucian a lot. This champion does not have the highest win rate in solo queue, and that's for a good reason. Many low elo players watch good players and pro players play Lucian top and mid, and they think that they can do the same for free low, but Lucian is just a hard champion to pilot well. He does have some insane strengths and has the potential to be great in solo queue, but make sure you understand his combos by running through different scenarios in the practice tool, and also learn where you need to be and how you need to lane in normals games. Like I said, the only thing Lucian offers his team is damage, so you need to to know his combos well and know how to build him most effectively in each patch because I swear his builds change constantly. I love Lucian. I think he's a super fun champion to play in the solo lane. He's just squishy and he's the target of all the champions on the enemy team. So you have to have some knowledge on how to play him before spamming him in ranked. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick Ticket to Diamond video. Make sure to check out my ranked course, the Ticket to Diamond blueprint in the description below. Good luck in solo queue. And as always, this has been Snowda. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.